Imagine drinking billions of microscopic plastic particles in a single cup of tea. It's not science fiction, it's breakfast. In today's Super Age Breakdown, we're diving into a bit of an icky topic, microplastics in our daily diet. So let's uncover which of these foods are the common culprits, and then let's explore how can we keep your meals more safe. So what are microplastics? Microplastics are tiny particles less than five millimeters in size, originating from the breakdown of larger plastics or manufactured directly for products like cosmetics or clothing. These particles have infiltrated our environment, making their way into the food that we eat and the water that we drink. So not so fun facts about microplastics. So microplastics are what scientists call endocrine disruptors, meaning they mess with your hormones, but research is ongoing because this is all pretty new and this is mind blowing. A 2025 study published in Nature Medicine found something wild. On average, brain tissue contains about 4,800 micrograms of plastic per gram. If that's true, that's about the same amount of plastic as you'd find in a plastic spoon in your brain. Let's explore seven everyday foods and beverages that have been found to contain the highest levels of microplastics. Okay, first up, sea salt. Studies have found that sea salt can contain between 0.4 to 5.8 microplastic particles per teaspoon. This contamination is due to polluted ocean waters where the salt is harvested. Instead, consider using mined rock salt or Himalayan pink salt. Next. Beer! Research indicates that beer can contain approximately two to 79 microplastic particles per liter, likely introduced during processing and packaging. Or you could try this. Opt for beers from breweries that use traditional brewing methods and minimal plastic in their packaging. Next up, bottled water. Bottled water is a significant source of microplastics, with studies showing up to 10,000 particles per liter. The plastic packaging itself is a major contributor. Switch to filtered tap water and use reusable glass or stainless steel bottles to reduce exposure. All right, next up, apples. Apples have been found to contain microplastics, possibly due to environmental pollution and agricultural practices. Try this, wash your fruit thoroughly and when possible, choose organic produce to minimize exposure. Next up, carrots. Ugh, not my fave. It's like my thing, I hate carrots. They're just disgusting. Carrots, like apples, can absorb contaminated microplastics from the soil. Peel and wash your vegetables thoroughly and consider sourcing from farms that practice sustainable agriculture. Next up, tea. Some tea bags, especially those that are made from nylon, can release billions of microplastic particles when steeped in hot water. Here's another idea. Choose tea bags that are made from biodegradable materials or simply loose leaf tea. And who doesn't like chicken nuggets? Ultra processed foods like chicken nuggets have been found to contain higher levels of microplastics, possibly due to processing and packaging methods. You can also just prepare your meals at home so that you can actually control what goes into your food. I get it, it's so hard. Eliminating microplastics from our diet entirely kind of sounds impossible. Making the effort is worth it. Opting for whole, unprocessed foods and minimizing the use of plastics in our food prep and also our food storage, it can really make a difference when it comes to living a healthier lifestyle. If you found this information helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more Super Age Breakdowns.